Hello everybody, my name is Altamish Nayyar Khan and I'm known as Atish and I'm a top rated Fiverr seller. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can start a freelancing career or how you can become a freelancer and hopefully I will share whatever I know and how I started my career as a freelancer and hopefully by the end you will get an idea of what you should do if you also want to become a freelancer. So before we begin, you have to ask yourself why you want to become a freelancer. Either you do not like to work 9 to 5, you don't want to work under somebody, you don't want to be told what to do, or you simply want to work at your own pace. Whatever the case is, you need to decide first why you want to become a freelancer and know whether it's worth it or not. If you want to, if you like the idea of starting your own business and you like the idea of running a business, then yes, you can or you should become a freelancer because you are essentially a businessman. You are a business owner as soon as you become a freelancer. If you like that idea, you should immediately start, you should immediately start thinking about becoming a freelancer. So I have a presentation ready which will give you an idea of what you should ask yourself what you should do and how you can start freelancing. So please let us start the presentation, if possible. Turn the lights off, please. So the first thing is that you should not try to become a freelancer or just become a freelancer for the sake of, oh, my friend is a freelancer and he's earning well, so I should also start freelancing. You should first take a look at what service is in demand. That's the first thing that you should know about. So even though you can sell basically any skill, which means if you're an engineer, an accountant, a developer a game developer, a web developer, you can sell that skill. You can sell any skill, but to make a good living, you need to take a look at the most valuable skills and what is in demand. So if you are a writer, now you'll find many writers and people that can write articles and create good articles, but there are only a few that write good and write well. So we'll wait for it to return and then I'll speak. Okay, so I'll start again. What I was saying is, is that you may have a skill, but if that skill is not in demand, you will not succeed. You should always focus on learning skills or developing skills that are in demand. Before becoming a freelancer, take a look at what is in demand. That's the first thing. The old saying goes, if you want to become a billionaire, solve a problem that is worth a billion dollars. Keep that in mind. So if you are a game developer, you are solving maybe a $5,000 to $10,000 problem. And each project will be worth somewhere between that. So it really depends. If you're a writer, you may be earning $5 for 100 words. Depends on your skill. Take a look at what problem you want to solve, what service you will provide. And if, that's, if that solution is valuable, you will be paid accordingly. You may need to learn a variety of different skills. Now, as a freelancer, do not rely on a single skill. You should have a variety of different skills. Find out what will work for you. 
You may even be forced to perform tasks that you seriously dislike. I'll share an example. A friend of mine was a front-end developer, which means he used to create websites, but only what you see, what the user sees. But as a freelancer, to earn more than $1,000, he also had to learn the back-end, which is when you log into Facebook, your credentials and your password is sent to a server, and that server uh, server tells Facebook that yes, this data was valid, so let the user log in. He had to learn that, and he absolutely hated it. But the reason why he did that is because he wanted to take his his uh, earning from one thousand dollars per month to five thousand dollars per month, and he did things that he disliked. He learned the back end, how things work on the back end as well. So as a freelancer, you cannot only do what you like. You have to sometimes do things that you seriously dislike if you're serious about making a good living. So uh, that is something that you need to tell yourself. You will not always be doing things that you like. So I've already given the example of a front-end developer that you see over here, for example, front-end developers. You may have to forget about what you like or want to do and focus on acquiring skills that are in demand and can help you become successful in providing valuable solutions. So this is, uh, I don't really need to explain this, you just have to look at what is valuable. And so maybe you will like it, maybe you will not, but in order to earn well, you need to only focus on the things that are valuable in the marketplace. Next slide, please. Either learn what other freelancers are doing or find out yourself what are the most in-demand services. So most uh, platforms such as Fiverr, Upwork, Guru, Freelancer.com, even people per hour, they usually release articles and you will find articles on the internet that will give you an idea of what services are in demand. Or if you have friends or someone you know who is a freelancer, they can tell you if they want to, that is, how much they're earning. And if they are clients themselves, like I'm a client too, and I hire freelancers as well, I can get an idea of what services are in demand on which platform. But you can find articles on the internet that will tell you what services are in demand and what services work on a specific platform. For example, on Fiverr, during the NFT boom and the NFT and cryptocurrency uh, boom, uh, Fiverr.com had a lot of service providers that were providing NFT marketplace services. So that was the most in-demand service at that time, and people were easily earning up to $50,000 per month just because they figured out that NFT marketplaces will be in demand. Focus on categories that have a very high barrier of entry. That means you should not focus or you should not uh, be looking at just to become a writer or just a person that can, anybody can be that person. The skill that you acquire should have a very high barrier of entry, which means not everybody can do it, or you will need special equipment for that. For example, if you, need, if you want to be a 3D modeler, you should also go into 3D rendering, which is not, everybody cannot do 3D rendering because you need a very powerful computer, which means the barrier of entry is having a powerful computer, which may cost up to $5,000 to make that computer. Now, not, not everybody will be able to afford that. So if you offer rendering services as well, and if you are an animator, the barrier of entry is slightly higher. What I'm trying to say is, is that don't try to acquire a skill which anybody can acquire and just start selling it. Because then you will be against a lot of people and they will be providing the same service as you and you will really not be able to get as many clients as you can if there are, there are a large number of people providing that service. Focus on category services that are extremely difficult to master. So programming, uh, for programmers, you will find many programmers on Upwork, Fiverr, Guru. However, there are only a few people over there that are masters at what they do. And People, generally speaking, clients, generally speaking, will...